Hello everybody, welcome to the card for the final stand firm before money in the ass. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello. Hello, and yes, that's right, we've got a pay-per-view in just a couple days, but you know what, we're basically having a pay-per-view tonight. Friday, stand firm. This is going to be a night of qualification matches, and I've got a huge announcement before we get to the card. After your main event, I will head to the ring, and I will have with me a contract and a pen for a signing to make one of the most historic signing in women's wrestling history. That's right. We have a new signee coming to Friday Stand Firm's incredible already women's division. It's about to get better, and I think this signee is going to dominate the field for the years to come and i cannot wait to introduce her i'm so excited about the surprise that i've got her masked and anonymous coming to the arena tonight no one's gonna see her until the main event baby cannot wait for that debut and that contract signing but we've got a whole show before that and let's go through the card right now Boy, howdy, that sounds amazing. Well, here we go. The first match is going to be a one-on-one -on -one ladder match. Satterfield versus Foxamania. Absolutely. Consider this a little bit of training because the winner of this match will be added to the Wem Dope Championship match. That is a six-man TLC match. So no uh, L or C, sorry, no T or C in this one tonight. Just the L, just the ladders. Satterfield, a former Wem Dope champion, and Foxamania, a former uh, E. Uh, EAB champion, a world champion, and so we've got some fireworks to start off the show tonight. Ladder match, winner take all. Winner gets added to, to the final spot to compete for Night Demon's Wem, Wem Dope Championship against two well, Night Demon and one other Stan Firmer, and then three Claw Guys. Can they keep my favorite title on my favorite show? Glorious. And then next up, eight-man over-the-top battle royale. You know, we've seen a fair few of these, and they're a great way to put someone at uh, you know next in line for a big match, and this one is no different. The winner of this match, the last man standing in the ring of this over-the-top battle royale elimination-style match will be the final entrant going in the main event of Money in the Ass, competing for that Money in the Ass contract, and the winner of that match will be able to cash that in at any time for either the EAB championship or the world title, and then they'll get to basically pick what show they're on if they can win it. Should be something, you know, look at the talent in the ring for this one. Humorous chimp, Dave! Calcium Kaz and standing right next to the guy that always beats him in big matches, Skuramezzo. <laughs> then, of course, Fault Force, Squirrel Dude, Artemis making a long time. Uh, you know, he has, we haven't seen him a lot. Can he get uh, something going in a battle royale? And, of course, the face that runs the place, Just Joe. This is going to be a nice spread. Who is going to be the last man standing? Can't wait to find out. And then more Plim Plom Plusers are still competing for two final spots. Both of them will be solved tonight. This first one, a one-on-one -on -one traditional match. You know, we've seen Blue Bomber competing and really turning some heads in a lot of matches, but what he hasn't been doing is getting those three counts, getting those wins, and getting that title. He's always just a little short, and he's got one more hurdle to climb here, and that is the long-awaited return of Ghoulface Killa. That's right, it's been over a year since he's been in action. Ghoulface Killa throws right in to a qualifying match for the Plim Plum Plusaweight Championship, a championship he has held before and would love to hold again. But to win it, he's going to have to beat Blue Bomber tonight and then go on Sunday and somehow find a way to get that title off of the waist of Moradam. Should be a wild match. Absolutely glorious, yep. Oh, baby. And then, yeah, this one needs no introduction. Well, maybe it needs a lot of introduction. <laughs> Marcel McDaniels in the ring. His long-awaited return has not competed in singles action in the JFW since last year's WrestleMania. 
and he's fine. No, that wasn't even a singles match. It's who knows how long it's been. Marcel McDaniel's glorious open challenge return. You know, we've had to put it off and put it off and put it off. And the poor guy hasn't caught in a break. Well, he's got one tonight. Guarantee this. Stan Firm is hosting that match, and it's happening on Friday. Stan Firm. Oh, baby. Pro probably. <laughs> Now, this one's a little odd. It's another Plim Plum Pluser weight qualifying match. However, you'll notice only two of those guys are Plim Plum Plusers. And certainly J5, he's more of a Plim uh, Plump Plump Plotter. But no, he's going to be a tag team partner for Lebred Mask, who can qualify if that tag team wins. And on the other side, Moore Plovach is going to be supporting his Norse Country tag team partner, Space Cadet. Can Space Cadet get back after Moradam to compete for that title? Or will Lebred Mask be the final piece in the puzzle of the upcoming four-way extreme elimination match for the, uh, the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship? No, oh, baby. And then here you go. It's win and you are in. Demi fucking G. The champ he calls himself, but he hasn't had a title to back that up. He uh, had a huge win over the actual champ last week in a non-title match beating JBG. And here you go. Demi G uh, given the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one against Frostlord. If he wins, he will be added to the world title match at Money in the Ass, and it'll be a triple threat. If he loses, it's going to be Frostlord versus JBG. And in the mood and the power on display from Frostlord in recent weeks, oh, I wouldn't like to see that again. So uh, if you're JBG, you probably might be rooting, even though it's a triple threat, might be rooting to add Dimmy to that match because if nothing else, he'll take a few punches for you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And like I said, after this, I will be in the ring for one of the most anticipated signings in AI-based Blood Bowl-themed <laughs> professional <laughs> wrestling presentations. It's going to be incredible. Cannot wait for that moment. And I will see you all very soon for the final Friday Stand Firm before money in the ass thank you so much gorilla thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic